In this video, I'm gonna cover something that is talked about all the time, and that is page speed. We all know how important page speed is, not only for your users, but in the coming months, Google is gonna to start to rank your website based off of their core web vital scores. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can dramatically increase your website scores in Google PageSpeed Insights. The best part is you could pull all of this off with just two free plugins. If you're paying for services like a WP Rocket or worst case scenario, Nitro Pack, uh, you can pull this off for free. And if you're not familiar with how expensive some of these caching plugins are. For example, just to have caching on your website with WP Rocket, it's gonna run you about 50 bucks. Um, Nitro Pack is gonna run you, I don't know, $18, but I love how they have limits on page views. And if you're using Nitro Pack, um, I highly recommend getting off of that one. This one, I recently had a client who installed this. And if you have a dynamic website with a lot of third-party plugins, um, this plugin will break your website. And I honestly have no idea why people like Nitro Pack, but I do not recommend that one. And to pull this off, we need to install these two plugins, Auto Optimize and Cache Enabler. Once you install these two plugins, it's gonna take less than one minute to configure everything and you'll be off and running with a very fast website. I'm gonna show you what we're working with. We have our demo website right here, which as you can see is a fully integrated website with images and buttons and all this stuff. As of right now, before I turn these two plugins on and configure them, we're scoring about a 45 on mobile and a 66 on desktop on PageSpeed Insights. Now let's just jump right into it and I'm gonna show you how we can score in the 40s on mobile all the way up to the 90s. So before I start the timer, I'm gonna show you, I already installed those two plugins I recommended. And once I click here, I'm gonna start the timer and show you that in under one minute, you can get your website to score really well in Google PageSpeed Insights. Let's start the timer now. First, go to Cache Enabler. Once this loads, you can change this right here to a value for a couple days to cache. Click all these on and that's it, done. Now we go over here to the auto optimize, turn on JavaScript, keep this active, remove these scripts, turn on CSS, make sure you have aggregate CSS, inlines on and inline all CSS, remove these WP content, add the optimized HTML, scroll down here, these are kind of optional. I usually turn those off. Hit save, empty, go to extra. I recommend you always serve your Google fonts local. So turn that off and remove the WordPress emojis. Save. Now let's go into here and get a new score. Let's see where we're at now. And boom, right there. We're at a 93 now for mobile and 98 for desktop. So as you can see, we did that under one minute. I wanted to make this video to show how easy it is to actually cache your website all for free. Um, there's been so much debate recently around why Elementor is slow and bloated, but I clearly just showed in less than one minute you can get your website to score really well. And in my opinion, the Google PageSpeed Insights tool is one of the most important PageSpeed ranking systems out there because it's owned by Google and they rank your website. So I just wanted to put to rest a lot of this debate, how Elementor can't load up fast, or in general, you can use this on any WordPress website. It doesn't have to be just Elementor. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit the bell to receive notifications.